Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Crypeman. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to play with fire. Uh, Carrera has some, uh, it has a lot of cool things in it, uh, volumetric fire being one of them. Now, uh, just so you know, um, it starts out pretty rough. It's a good fire if you're going to animate it, which you can do, and which we will do. Um, you get some really, really nice results. The colors fade into each other, and it's really, really nice. So, but um, on the other hand, there's no visual feedback, and that I don't know if that's something that they can do, they can fix or not. But as it stands right now, you have no no visual feedback. So it's pretty much uh, you know trial and error all the way. Let's go ahead and eliminate some of that uh, in making a flame. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a volumetric flame that you can put on a candle and uh, you know make it look kind of natural. Um, first of all, let's let's look at our settings. First, we have uh, completion at zero, and we're at frame one, so that's perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and make our quantity 0.50, and bump the quality up all the way, bump the detail up all the way, bump the no, bump. Uh, leave the density alone, bump, bump the edge fall up all the way, fall off all the way, and the pointiness all the way. Now let's see what we got. Yeah, it's still not a flame, is it? That's because the, the container it's in is a box. What we want to do is we want to put that in the, in the cylindrical container, the cylinder, and now you have much better results but it's not quite what we want. Now one cool, another cool thing about um, the volumetric fire is you can manipulate it like most other things in, in Carrera. Um, you can't do a whole lot to it. You can't use your, mod your deformers or anything on it, but you can stretch it and that gives you a lot better results. Cool, huh? Now uh, something to make note of, the bottom part of it uh, doesn't look really all that natural. So uh, take that into consideration when you're rendering and uh, try not to get too close to the candle or to the flame. Uh, I have a rendered result. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and stay here for a second. Um, now, if you, want it, if you want to animate it, we're on the first frame here. Let's go ahead and jump to the last frame and then put push the completion slider all the way to 100 and uh, you notice that the results come out just a little bit differently. Um, it's not going to be good for looping animations uh, just so you know so you might take that to, into consideration too um, when you're making your fire. Now we got the completion set up and now as it goes you can't tell but it's changing all the way through. I'm going to show you what I have as a uh, I rendered a, a fire out for the sake of the tutorial and uh, get a chance to look at uh, how natural the results are. Now you notice it skips when it gets to the end. Notice where it splits in the middle. When it splits in the middle right here it jumps to the end. Now um, you could probably uh, uh, do something to fix that. I don't know what it would be, but if you want a nice uh, natural looking flickering candle flame, that's pretty much how you do it. So uh, anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.